Hey everyone, welcome to Wow Tips by Ice Lighting. So I've been seeing a lot of people saying they don't have beta access and I hadn't received an email either, but I had bought the Epic Edition. Now, me personally, I have no interest in playing the beta because to me it's like cheating. Um, I like to enjoy it when it actually happens. However, I will take there three days early. But because I bought the Epic Edition, I thought, well, I should have beta access and I didn't actually seem to have an email. And you can see here, if you bought the Epic Edition, you too should be able to do it. So I thought, okay, well, where would I access it? And I thought, okay, well, let's just have a look at my list of games. And uh, lo and behold, it's there at the top. So if you're looking for the access, it is right there. Now it does involve installing and loads of patches. It took about 45 minutes for me, but it could be my internet, it might be faster. Anyway, after 45 minutes of it installing, I had the play button. So of course I thought, well, let's at least enter to make sure this works. Otherwise I'm telling you about this and it doesn't work. So um, once I hit play, I did get a whole bunch of messages telling me it's really slow at the moment. And if this was the first time I was loading, it, it was gonna take longer. And you can see it is very bitty and very laggy while I'm trying to get in. But once the game server loaded, you got your standard, hey, do you wanna play Remix? And I was like, well, no, I want to look at the new stuff. Um, you could see straight away that down the side, the Warband character list is up and it's also a closable screen. So I thought, okay, Okay, well, clearly I need to create a character, so I decided to uh, create ice because, you know, it's ice. So um, I made myself um, a version of ice, and I yeah, finish. And straight away, um, you've got to do your normal data protection accept, and she's there listed in the warband, but she's standing by herself. And I thought, well, hang on. Then suddenly it flicked to a campsite, and I thought, hey, cool. So this is what the warband thing looks like. I need more characters to see what it looks like. So I went along and I just randomly created um, four characters and you can see they're all standing there now. And I thought, well, a lot of people have complained that, you know, they just stand around. Now, if you actually click between them, that is when they sit down and they all sit down differently. So if you repeatedly click on them, um, click between them, they will change how they're sitting. And you'll see like this panda one will then change the way it sat from last time and um, vice versa. So then I thought, okay, well, how would it work if I had a fifth character? How would I move my wall bands around? So I just created another one, and by this point I got bored of thinking of names, so I just randomly hit the keyboard and then hit finish. So once you have a fifth character, you see what would be a normal screen for them, and uh, I thought, okay, simple enough, arrows. Arrows allow you to move them in and out, and if you, again, click on them, you'll see we have kneeling, we have sitting, we have cross-legged. Now I'm not actually going to enter this, um, I did to check it worked, but I'm not going to show it to you because as I said it's kind of like cheating and to be honest I just logged in, was entertained by getting the world first, um, but obviously everyone's getting it to make sure that works. Um, but other than that I did nothing because I don't want to ruin this for me. So if you were looking on how to get into it, that is how you do it. Jumping. So have fun. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.